You would think that the tundra and grassland biomes have nothing in common, but they have many likenesses as well as differences. Like the grassland, the tundra is composed of mostly barren landscape with few trees. There are also similar organisms in both biomes, for example the red fox for the grassland biome and the arctic fox for the tundra biome. There are also a wide variety of organisms in both biomes, including the buffalo, the prairie dog, and the pronghorn native to the grassland, and the caribou, the long-tailed duck, and the grown squirrel native to the tundra biome. There are many different types of symbiote relationships in the two biomes. For example, in the grassland, a tick on an antelope would be parasitism. A bee pollinating a flower while getting food would be mutualism. And in the tundra, a wolf feeding on a caribou would be predation. And a fox eating after a wolf would be commensalism. Just as comparisons, there are many differences between the grassland and tundra biomes. The animals of these two biomes are adapted differently to the different climates. For example, the puma, the tiger, and the antelope are all adapted to the warm climate of the grassland. While the polar bear, the musk ox, and the wolverine are all adapted to the cold climate of the tundra. The plants of these two biomes are adapted as well, for example, arctic willows, lichens, and wildflowers grow close to the ground so as to avoid the harsh arctic winds. While in the grassland, Indian grass, switchgrass, and oat grass are adapted by having strong roots so that when lightning storms come and start brush fires that burn the top of the grass away, the roots can quickly recover and grow back the lost grass. These two biomes also have different ways of returning nutrients to its soil. In the grassland, along with precipitation, the brush fires mentioned earlier return nutrients to its soil. On the tundra, in the summer, the ice melts and returns nutrients to its soil. When looking at it in this type of perspective, there are many things that can be compared and contrasted in these two biomes.